Welcome back to my channel guys. First things first, I am just like really high energy, super excited to be filming on YouTube today because I feel like I've been on TikTok and Instagram a lot so it's good to be back to my favourite platform which is definitely YouTube. So hi guys, hope everyone is well. Today's video is going to be like a vlog style update on the business relaunch because we had episode one and episode two. Things have been quite like quiet. I've been very busy but it's more like things I'm doing around the house, in the house, on the computer. So I thought it would be a bit kind of boring for you guys but a lot has been happening that I want to update you guys on. So first things first is I have a new phone. Guys, I've had this this iPhone, hmm, let's see what even iPhone we're on. The iPhone 11, so I upgraded to the iPhone 14 Pro Max for business purposes. So that is gonna be my content phone. That in itself is a testimony. So I just wanna shout out to God. I wanna thank God here publicly on my YouTube video because I just feel like ever since I was obedient to what he said, once I gave in to kind of relaunch oh so curly, all of my paths have been straight to the, like the things that I, feel like I need it but knew I would not be able to get by myself like I knew in the current state that I was in it wouldn't happen have just happened in ways that like other people have provided it for me or there's been like new initiatives that allow me to do certain things there's just so many things I will make a separate testimony video once I launch my business to, sh to share with you guys like all of the things that God like did to make everything come together. The next thing I want to show you guys is I am going to be doing TikTok shop and I think I will do YouTube shopping as well and probably go streaming on Instagram so I'm going to be doing a lot more of the live streaming and now I have like an area in my room to do that a nice little setup so you will be seeing me more on live stream but tiktok shop is where it's at so i'm gonna put my hand and try and dabble into tiktok shop so let me just show you guys my tiktok shop area so this is going to be the backdrop for my tiktok lives and i'm gonna unbox for you guys a neon sign that has oh so curly on it they have put together the most beautiful custom neon signs so that is going to be in the background of all of my live streams and maybe some of my videos as well so here is what it looks like on the wall unfortunately i'm not allowed to drill the wall so i use double-sided tape but it still looks great as you can see i have my iphone here on this tripod right here guys let me tell you hmm i will link that down below as well but this has been a lifesaver so it pretty much folds down into like this little tiny stick so it fits in your handbag and it has a small remote so it's very compact perfect for travel it goes up even higher than this so you can stretch up even taller you can have it all the way down to the ground you can hold it as a selfie stick it is a hack for content creators so i've been loving that on my new phone what else has been going on is the cow haul. so i think i probably mentioned in a past vlog that i will be putting together a cohort of curlies that want to help me with the relaunch and i'll just show you some of the things that we've been discussing so far this is a year-long program so you won't be able to apply again until next year but this group of women we're going to do some events we're going to do a focus group so i'll be able to share with them my new products that i'm going to launch exclusive for youtube the launch date is looking like it's going to be the end of september so we should be up and running before you know november and quarter four like the christmas period excited about that but i've just been asking them questions so we have what is your biggest curly hair pain point and i've really asked them to get to know each other and also tools have made the biggest impact to their curls and within the discussion i really want to get detail so a lot of them have given me quite long answers on more into detail with their hair journey just so i can use this as good research so as you can see quite long answers which have been really really helpful and the most exciting thing that's happening right now behind the scenes is the new packaging design and guys let me tell you it is coming along real nicely i am super excited to be working with botanica branding they are amazing they're based in spain and i will leave their details down below as well you know this is probably the most i've ever invested into anything like branding or design for my business but i am excited because i know it's going to really level up the brand it's going to look good for our content it's going to be 
good for you guys as customers for your unboxing and all the packaging that I'm designing is going to be reusable. So working on that and also some samples are being made in my manufacturer of some new inventions that I can't share with you guys just yet. But you know, stay subscribed, stay following because I will be sharing nearer the time. Next month is July and what am I doing for next month? So some key takeaways I have taken from this month is, guys, this whole month I've been trying to pre-plan my content up until launch for September so that is three months worth of content and I thought if I have the script if I have all of my content ready for what I'm gonna post then I'm good I can relax but I realized that in doing that was giving me so much stress trying to come up with the ideas trying to like put it in a calendar that makes sense to my brain all in all it didn't make sense to my brain so I've realized that I work better I'm more energized and more creative when things are done last minute and I've always been like that even at college at uni any of my like assignments I would do pretty much last minute I can't do things in advance it just doesn't work for me certain things that I have to be creative with whether it's writing or filming and creating content has to be done nearer to the time I can't do things like that in advance I have realized that I am the type of person who needs to wake up every day and just create so that is my new commitment moving forward so every day i want to have a routine where i am just creating i took it to god and god confirmed it to me straight away because if you check out my post on instagram i spoke about this topic and that actual evening i posted a tiktok that just came to my mind randomly and it got more views than any tiktoks i've posted this whole month and that was just proof to me that i don't have to pre-plan everything and that's something i've learned over this past year as well like time isn't promise <laughs> time really isn't promised so why would I feel like I have to do all of my work in advance why not just live in the moment and live day by day like I am blessed enough to have this as a career so embrace that like this is my job to create content every single day hopefully this could help someone if you're watching this hopefully it resonates with someone stop overthinking and over planning i'll also hopefully have the final packaging design done and then we'll probably just refine it for august so that's super exciting i'm going to be doing my tiktok live so tiktok lives start from july i'll probably do a few instagram and maybe try and hop on youtube live as well so just make sure you follow me on all of my platforms because you will catch me on your screens live more often. Comment down below what you wanna see. Do you want more of these vlogs? I mean, it's kind of hard because all I'm doing is working on my computer. So I'm not sure if that's something that is going to be interesting to you guys. Yeah, let me know down below because I love YouTube and I love my subscribers. You guys are my favorite. And I will catch you guys in the next one.